Welcome back, boys and girls. Episode 2 of XCOM 2. War two. of the Chosen. Say it with me. War of the Chosen. 2. XCOM 2-2. Two, two. So we had a great start. Our first two missions, and we've got four people wounded. One dramatically so, eh, Tom? So that was great. You know, Tom got a gut shot to fuck on mm. his first day out. You know, Harry at least managed a mission and a half before he got badly wounded. So let's dive straight back in. We have a lead on the alien black site, but we'll Oh good it. Yeah, the black site. We all remember the black site. It's full of goo and assholes. Black site is full of goo. Yes. As soon as possible. Cool. Thanks Central. Behind this so-called avatar project. Commander, you're not going Commander. Commander. A signal from an emergency locator beacon. It's definitely one of ours from the original invasion. I know it sounds crazy. Oh. There's any chance some of our people could still be out there. I think we owe it to them to find out. What's this? So last time, obviously, the Alien Hunters DLC was rolled straight into the campaign. This is the actual traditional lead-in. Oh Cause, yes, because you not have started it. a completely yeah. fresh game. We have all the Alien Hunters DLC, so we get looked forward to those uh, assholes. So in traditional War of the Chosen, they rolled like as enemy base guards. But I decided because we missed it last time and we basically had them roll straight into the campaign, this time we'll do them how they're meant to come in. Which uh, does mean we get some free shit, which is nice. Uh, you know, they're, they're guns for free. That ice grenade, which is going to be <gasps> necessary for free. <laughs> um, although we could do with getting that scientist first. Let's get the scientist first. Avenger we can we can come back for that later. Course. Well, basically that's going to lead into the prologue for the alien hunting missions. You uh, worry me, Steve. I always worry myself, so you should be very, very, very worried. That's the thing, they plug it in your brain, it's very similar to the one that was in the commander's head. Oh, who knew? Alright, okay. <laughs> Alright. Plot a D plot, 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 plot. Okay, right. Clearly been modified to allow for their subordinates you said that off screen. We can now build a med bay. That would have been handy. A med bay? Well, an infirmary. Okay, uh, a med bay? no inspired things, so. Resistance communications first. Blow, 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 blow job face. Yeah, but oh, blow, blow, fine. Blow, you get your blowjob face. Oh. I've actually realised something. He's not actually operating. He's actually got like a tattoo gun filled with curry <laughs> and just dribbling it all over him. Yes, that's the true story. Oh. He's actually a banker who doesn't have any medical qualifications at all. So we just let him pretend. He's basically like Mr. Bean. You know, he's trying to make it look like he's doing surgery. Okay, free scientist. Welcome, Sophia Seller. You have a scary face. Uh, no, we don't need supplies. Well, we do need supplies, but first, free guns. Because that, that ice grenade was the business. I don't give a shit about the harpoon gun or anything else. The ice grenade was the business. I do like me some ice grenade. The business. Okay. Oh yeah, you know the, the bad side of starting XCOM 2 again? I've got all the micromanaging bullshit to either edit in, out, or whatever. Oh, don't worry, you're going to be editing most of this out. Uh, maybe. I mean, I it's, know, it's, the episode, so it's the first episode, so... while you do it. It's the first episode, well, the first episode outside of the uh, the intro. So, it'll probably be a bit of this drama, because you can hear this, can't you, YouTube? Can't you? Sleep tight. Oh god, now what? Oh shit. New stuff. Does he sound familiar at all? That is Commander Riker. Yes, that is Commander Riker. The enemy is food. Try not to bring that up when we meet, Hulk. You take their side after all we've seen these years. Look, I'm not exactly having drinks with them, but they did hold up their end of the bargain. What about you? Wait and see. Hulk out. <laughs> Actually think they might show up. Commander. Here we go. That was Konstantin Volokov, Falk to his friends. He and his Reapers are a big part of the reason why you're standing here today. That was convenient. Maybe a little rough around the edges, but he's the real deal. Heads one of three resistance groups operating independently from us that we consider a legitimate threat to Advent. Together, they'd make one hell of a fighting force. Too bad they hate each other. Still, we've made some unlikely progress. So yeah, these are our hero groups, basically. They were tipped off by a group of Advent defectors known as the Skirmishers. No one's big at working with these guys, know where they came from. But you wouldn't be here without their help. Both the Reapers and the Skirmishers have agreed to suspend hostilities provided you serve as the go-between. 
E falou que vai falar? Yeah. So, So, when he said Advent Defectors, yes, uh, basically, yeah. Right, so, yeah, alright, thank you, Commander. So, when he said Advent Defectors, are we gen we literally mean clone troopers that have gone rogue? Yeah, basically, um... You know, I, I, in uh, some science fiction, you have your manufactured troops, like your Borg troops and whatnot, and they have like chips in them to make them go do the thing that they want them to do. Yeah, it's basically Advent Troopers in this one, same thing as the clone troopers from Star Wars. Yeah, they they're, they're basically the ones that realised that their chip was faulty and then thought, hang on a minute, the Pigeon Masters are dickheads and uh, and then they just fight against their own creators. Gotcha. All uh, right. Okay. Cool. The Reapers themselves. So we can, what we can hire, we can hire clone troopers. You get a few of them. They're like hero soldiers. You only get so many. Uh, uh, mutons? Vipers? No, just advents. Oh, okay. Um, the Reapers, they're similar, but they, you know, they're their own separate group. They're human survivalists who rely not on alien technology at all. They consider them food, and they use stealth to get around. Uh, yeah, basically, if, 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 if XCOM is meant to be a terrorist group, yeah. they're like mega terrorists. They're the fuckers in the caves, you know? Okay. Right? Okay, so our first mission then... It's to rendezvous with the Reapers in Operation Lost and Abandoned. Wow. And I thought our mission names were shit. Yeah, well, it's a story mission. I'm not gonna get my free shit, though, though. I am in a fucking game. Why? Okay. This is gonna be a tense one. Hey, James is back on his feet. Thank fuck. We've got a temporary right. ceasefire in place for the duration of the meet, but still, that doesn't mean we shouldn't be ready for anything. James has got a med kit because right. we're going to fucking need a med. No, that's right. Uh, if I'm thinking this is going to be a four-man team, we're going to need every bit of advantage we've got. So All you right. have to, you're going to have to stay. And squad two. Oh, we've got the sniper back too. So yeah, sniper and grenadier on one side. Well, we've got anyone with a shotgun. Anyone available with a shotgun? No. Okay, so it's two grenadiers. This is going to be interesting. Uh, we need to get some of them rookies in at some point, Steve. I don't want to be having this argument with you a second plan. Oh, no, no, no. But this is a, this being basically a uh, quote-unquote plot mission, we should probably not skimp on the, the good stuff. So, grenadier and sniper, grenadier and specialist. So what, is this two separate missions happening at the same time? Yes, basically. We'll have one we'll have one pair with one hero, another pair with another hero, and then they join. Okay, so Operation Lost and Abandoned, part one is a go. Well, this is definitely different from the last playthrough, so they've obviously put in a lot of DLC. Yeah. And we were talking about integrating the alien hunter stuff. This is even this is the new new stuff. You'll split into two squads, rendezvous with each faction, and bring their envoy directly to the location of the meet. Officially, this city no longer exists, so we don't expect a lot in the way of Advent resistance. <laughs> Vancouver! Vancouver no longer exists! <laughs> what, well, some people it probably doesn't know, I don't know. Um, Fuck Canadia. There's nothing wrong with Canada. Canadia! Canadia? Canadia. Uh, I have a couple of friends who are Canadian, thank you very much. Well, we'll go to Vancouver by way of Raccoon City. And you'll see what I mean in a second. Was that just like a single half a frame flash of character models? Yes, it had to load stuff in. Oh, that. You remember the original, original XCOM? Oh, oh yeah, the me. UFO no, one. No, no, no. You do remember it, right? Yes. This you... is a zombie outbreak, isn't it? That's why he said Raccoon City. Well, yeah. Well. Rissolid skull with its eyes gouged out among other things you and the humble DM if you are hungry there's more where that came from impressive reflexes but unnecessary stand down We're all that mask reminds me of Cabal from Mortal Kombat yeah I was about to say Although, having a lady who voice acted something else where involving Reapers working for the Reapers, I find not a little bit ironic. We shall see if the same holds true for these skirmishes of yours. Uh. 
Your presence already disturbs them. We must move quickly. My people will take care of this camp. Come. So yeah, well, you know what I said we had new settings and new map layouts. I really wish I wasn't holding the minigun to my face. <laughs> Uh, that was a thing that irked me in the last game. For some reason, I'm holding a minigun to my face. The sheer talk of it would literally rip my head off its shoulders. Praetor Mots. His death squads wiped out entire camps of my people in the first years of the war. You would dare do this? Pretty sure hands are bloody on both sides of this fight. That's the whole point of this intervention. Reapers are born in the shadows. Oh god, we're gonna get tutorial text thrown at us. world that was waiting for us out there. We rely on stealth and long-range attacks. And our marksmen are unmatched by even the best XCOM has to offer. Okay. I beg to differ, you can't use like lasers. So yeah, Reapers, they have super concealment and they have chances to reveal themselves as opposed to BAM, you're out, well done, welcome to the big fight. Okay? And okay. they have like detonator explosives and all sorts of cool shit when you level them up. Okay. Right now, they also can cover more distance while stealth. <gasps> and look, you can tell it's a tainted city for the pigeons have been substituted for crows. Oh, Alright, let's do this thing. We have as much time as we can, but I don't know if you noticed, but we've got like, in video game terms, like a mile distance to cover. All right. Let's get sprinting so, then, son. The rather imaginatively named Elena Dragonova. <laughs> Using what appears to be a Dragonov locker, uh, a Dragonov knockoff rifle. It's a vector rifle, Steve. Can't you read? Dormant fuck off, you. Did that look familiar to you, Spike? Oh fuck! It's a zombie thing. It's a zombie thing. Stable radiation. I cannot fathom what they were like in their original function. We were there. For the viewers who haven't seen the original XCOM. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, for the viewers that haven't seen the original XCOM, Enemy Unknown. Those things were dropped on various cities, and anyone that got infected by them basically turned into green goo. Green goo zombie things. They so, didn't actually attack you or anything, but yeah, they got turned into green goo. And if you kind of like touched them or walked anywhere near them, the corpses ragdolled into dust. everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, the original corpses ragdolled everywhere like ridiculous, but the uh, original idea was they were supposed to turn to dust when you got anywhere near them. Mm. Didn't quite end that way. Last. Oh. Alright, well, you know, it had to happen sometime. XCOM now has zombie hordes. They actually come with a really interesting mechanic as well. We are not alone. Those things, they still look like people. What was People, they wear t shirts. That's about all that's people about them. Ugh. Hesitate to destroy them. These creatures' DNA has mutated well beyond what we would classify as human. Thank you, Tiger. Perhaps the result of long term exposure to the alien radiation from those pods. The white right, pop, pop one then for me. Let's see what she looks like. I cannot imagine. When the right. governments fell, will you fucking shut up? <laughs> many fled uh. cities such as this to scavenge for food. They did not heed the warnings. Right, so basically, this this comes with a unique mechanic in that if you down a zombie with your shot, you get it free. You don't get the ammo spent for free, but theoretically, if you had a decent enough shot, you could kill one and, and then keep, keep killing, going. keep going until you run out of bullets. Snipers with a decent pistol. They, they can hold, like, fucking armies of these bastards off. Uh, uh, she's probably going to get revealed eventually anyway, but she's got chances to hit multiple targets, so go for it. There we go. If you only hit it and damage it, not count as a headshot. Yeah. Shit chances. Wait, 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 wait. Let me read. Uh, unit receives additional action point by carefully selecting targets so you can kill several loss and still move normally. If the shot taken misses or fails to kill the target, the soldier will not receive additional action. Special attacks such as grenades do not. Yeah. Okay. So it's yeah. basically what you just said. Yeah. Fine. Okay. So can she ding the next one? Yes. Well, hopefully she's got about one in. Well, you know, one in ch five chance of missing. There we go. Well done. That's two down, yeah, and can she can we still keep moving move. towards the objective then. Yeah, but I want to try and clear out as many of them as we can because we're going to get swarmed. There are a lot of these motherfuckers. I'll take the other side of the car. Yeah, and obviously, if you hit one but don't kill it, then you basically just fire the shot, and that's it. So, ideally, picking off the two HP one that's hiding would be beneficial, but no such luck. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! 
God damn. And James, I am not mad. I am just disappointed. What about you, Spike? What's your accuracy? 68. We've got to get you close to this bad boy. Cover is practically meaningless against these guys. They don't have projectile attacks. It's all walk up and thump. 71%. That's better. See, that's how you do. That's how you do, isn't it, Spike? Well done. I'm proud of you. You're scaring me a little. Say thanks. Right. Overwatch. I'm reloading your gun. Same with Elena, but she can reload and then overwatch. Because she's only had no action. She's not done a single thing this turn. Okay. Yep, we're going to camp it because they're going to fucking get us if we don't. Alright. So how often do we come across the lost then? Uh, they're on for a fair few missions and there's various times you'll get random modifiers thrown into missions that will bring them in as well as advent. So you have to fight like multiple things at once. My people have right. encountered these beings before. At first, they may appear mindless, but they hear quite well. In great numbers, they can be very deadly. Ah, yeah, that's another thing. You make a shit ton of noise, throw grenades too much, you'll bring a lot more. Of them. You'll bring more on them, are you? Yeah. Wow. Well, at least you didn't miss that one, eh, James? You have redeemed yourself. But if you prefer, avenge your shame. Gabber him. There we go. And now so, you can reload. Spike. Move me up to the car. Yeah, you move up. If you see anything, you're probably going to nuke it. Even better. It's quiet. Cool. Right, sprint here. Well, move and reload. We've got to keep our, our, our mags high, so in case we fight in a horde. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But her current mobility, she can basically go back into conceal for free once, and she's got a bomb that she can then shoot, or someone else can shoot without giving her away. Left to turn into these things. Yes. All we can offer them now. Stay on the street. I don't know. No, this now we have to go through a building, dude. All right. Well, in we go then. Yep. Yeah, uh, watch your corners, rookie. Well, I say rookie. You're actually a specialist, but you might as well be a fucking rookie. Um, come on, James. Into the tainted looking like Cthulhu bar. Oh, they actually do turn to dust now. Mm hmm. Well, they had to happen eventually. I'll give, I'll give them something. It's really fucking unnerving. I mean, the old zombies just used to be bullet sponges and very annoying. No, now they're just like a horde of them. And they will keep coming. There is actually like. I don't Are we know. seeing you gain experience as normal? Yeah, you don't get as much. Like, you know, an advent trooper's worth like about four or five of these. But you do get the HP for it. Yeah, just move me through an overwatch. Yeah, I say we're gonna have to just overwatch creep until we get out of here. Conceal her and then overwatch. Uh, I'd save the concealment because there's three parts to this mission. No oh, goody. Yeah, and uh, it's best to just take it slow. But uh, second episode in, and we've got more new shit. Isn't that nice? Yeah, it for is. Everybody. Really done, really gone to town. I must admit. Murder, 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 murder. And the hotshot sniper can't hit for shit. The rookie is redeeming himself. What about Spike? Is his Gatling gun still magical? Nah, uh, it's full of tainted bullshit. Missed. It looks very slick, it looks very smooth. You say you've knocked the uh, visuals down a touch? Yeah, I've actually tried to make it as uh, controlled as possible. These creatures are worse even than Advent. Keep moving forward. Wow. No, keep moving. Move to the next set of tables up and then turn around and shoot him. Cover doesn't really matter here. But just keep them practice. Okay, well, you get one. I did say once per episode, I will just listen. Wow. But now I can only fire potentially one. Let's at least go for one, he might have definite chance of killing. Come on, James. Bruh. Ah, oh, balls. Balls, balls, and poo flaps. What about you, Spike? Yeah, your accuracy is terrible. But you can get closer, and you have two rounds of ammo. So theoretically, you can kill both of them if you don't, you know, In miss. In theory. Uh, higher HP one, since your gun will definitely kill it if it hits. Yeah, a strangely Space Hulk vibe with these guys. You know, we got yeah, to watch corners. It's, um, it's interesting. Mm. I'm... And it's obviously a nightmare when you've got a fucking platoon of the bastards thrown Yeah, out. I'm guessing when you've got like a horde of them, and then you have to use grenades which will then just lure more of them. I say, I have seen a showdown where it was like, you know, two men left versus about 20 of the fucking things. Uh, yeah, it's it's not pleasant. I mean, like, I'm enjoying the fact you could like back to back up and like really like empty a clip into all of them. Mm-hmm. Still? Risk all this for Praetel Mox? 
Oh yeah, she hates the skirmishes. Like, for some reason when he was an advent trooper, he was a dickhead. But now he's not an advent trooper. But apparently, that's not enough to redeem him in her eyes. Okay, drum me back. Who's what? Mox is the skirmisher counterpart. If she's a reaper, he's a skirmisher. Right, yeah? and he's like a famous advent dude who's now obviously part of the skirmishers because he's not part of Advent. Yeah? That looks like a grenade. Uh, yeah, but again, part one of three? I'm trying to save consumables. Let's go for it. I like that, though. When you when you yeah, sight up on targets, skirt. you get it's a skirt. It's very nice. Right. Come on, Elena. It's a shame it doesn't actually zoom in a little bit. It would have been nice. Well, it, it does, but not a lot. Not an excessive amount. Right, okay. Next best chance. All right. You got another shot after this, or do you need to reload? You got another shot. All right, keep showing off. We like it. We think you're cool. That is pretty cool. All right, reload. All right, James needs to reload anyway, so it's down to our lovely, heroic, not at all dead, zombie killer extraordinaire, Spike. All this to get what appears to be a beat-up, shitty, like, people Super carrier. Yay, Subaru! Ready to right, go. James, just just move up and reload, dude. You're gonna be hanging up the rear. You know. Giggity. <laughs> well, someone has to. They're coming out of literally the goddamn doors. Wow. It's okay. They shouldn't get a free hit in. If they do, that's like dickhead and chips. Dickhead and chips. Yeah. Some have shirts, some have jeans, but neither have the combination of jeans and shirt. Biological signatures are grouping into a single Keep moving line. forward. One closing in on this position. Hundred percent, hundred percent, hundred percent, hundred percent. She's taking some down. Before it arrives. Well, I would hope so, with a sniper rifle and scope at that yeah. range. Yeah, unlike traditional sniper rifles in this, with the other X-Hunters. They're troopers, sniper rifles. The, 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 the vector rifles don't have the close range aim penalty. Nice. They just have like a more of a medium range thing overall. Like, think of available? sniper rifle and DMR. They're like, they, you know, it doesn't say they're marksman rifles, but they're essentially marksman rifles. Yeah, that's for all of your, uh, your, your Halo nerds out there. I will need more ammo. They're making a TV series, you know. Really? Yeah. Does it involve blasting? Was there ever zombies in Halo besides the Flood? No. No. no more the Flood were like parasitic override, weren't they? Then let's not linger here. Head to the evac coordinates now. Okay. I'm already getting kind of a going to kill her. She's basically Ashley from Mass Effect vibe. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. What do you think it's going to be a case if she shows up and just blasts him? Everything for your dreams of peace. If you haven't noticed, the aliens have been. You should have a clear path through. <laughs> Sorry to cut you off. Second squad is already on right, to get in your shitty keep so your Subaru. Oh, your uh, Advent we'll Coupe. Alright. Meanwhile. On a, elsewhere. elsewhere in Raccoon City. Yeah. This, you know, that was A scenario, this is scenario B. And I need to to get it for a fucking showdown. Of epic portions, and I'm kind of nervous because the finale of this is going to be a fucking mare. Uh, skirmishes are basically super rangers with grappling hooks. Grappling hooks? Oh, like a spider suit. Yeah, but reloadable. Like, you know, they have, unlike in this where they have, like a, they have a faster cooldown. Come here! Plus, they can drag people in. And this will be our friend Mox. I'm guessing that's our man. May have played the Rise of Iron DLC, did you bum fur? That doesn't look good. Like in the Predator Risplade. Yeah. He's hacking, apparently. Even though you can't do that with them. Is that. That is Worf, Worf. yeah. Even though Help me! Is this just the cast of Star Trek? Pretty much. The leader of the Templars, who has not got a cutscene proper introduction, is Q. I would give anything that all my kind could say the same. Even sit down with your Reapers. Now, we must go. Oh, and his uh, boss, his faction boss, that's Tasha Yar. 
Oh, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's the Star Trek The Next Generation like reunion party, this game. I'm not sure about the Chosen, though. I think they're all unique. I don't think they're like, um, Star Wars, Star Trek, not Star Wars. Tells me this city still has a few more surprises to throw our way. Surprises are the least of our worries today. It is these Reapers of yours that are of true concern. See, they all hate each other for reasons we can't determine. We're created by the false gods of this world. This Tashi -Yaw. That's Tashi die as their puppets. We retain all that we were and more. And our prowess in battle serves us well in our cause. In close combat, none can stand opposed to us. Alright, straight out of the gate then, skirmishers have this unique ability, it's called they can move and fire in any order and they've got a grappling hook. So, so they if they fire and move or they can move and fire? Or they can fire and fire. Oh, two fire. That's yeah, nice. eventually they can do it so they can do other things and fire as well, so like lob a grenade and fire or fire and lob a grenade. Well, I suppose you can fire and lob a grenade anyway. Are these going to be our like, heavy tank troopers? Like, yeah, they're, the they're, like I said, they're super rangers basically. But let's, let's take it slow and steady because we know that we're going to see a horde of the fucking lost or something. You know, Warren's... Checking up the rear with his two grenade grenade launcher, and the doctor's hanging behind with his revolver and his long range rifle. Any trouble? Uh, we have trouble. Oh shit, it's not zombies yet, it's uh, aliens. The actual aliens. Aliens? A aliens? Reggie! Alright, best to let Mox take lead though, because obviously the man's a tank. And everyone else just slowly creeps behind him because you guys play too cautiously on this channel. Damn fucking right we do. We've got too much tragedy in our lives. Moving. We've been getting criticism. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just. Yeah, pretty much. I love the fact I'm going to be listening to Worf. Mm. Oh, the robot. One of the voices for the robot in the other DLC is Worf, Worf. as well. Yeah, I was yeah. going to say. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a second. Back that back up. Right. Who done we shooting? Advent Trooper, a flame trooper. A oh, what, 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 yes. what? Oh, baby. Well, fuck. Let's, let's not. Lock and load. No. Let's use your mini gun. it's bigger. Depending on how you kill them, if you kill them with a crit, think what, you pretty much know what's going to happen, don't you? Inferno time. Yeah, that they, they explode. Purifiers were created with a singular purpose, to contain the drop the lost. We must eliminate this patrol quickly before others arrive. Find okay. Take them down. Change Let's do the obvious and, uh, you know, get him up there. Ah, out of your day. Oh, yeah, he has uh, other grapple move as well. He's got two variations. All right, this version is pull. Okay. Pull and smack. There's also, there's also winch to them and smack. But he hasn't got winch to them and smack yet. So just, just ding his ass. There we go. The patrol has been liberated. May their lives not be lost in vain. We must push forward and complete our mission. Works for me. To say, to say that the Advent Troopers in the last version of the game, and I'm saying version because this is essentially an expanded version, hmm. were basically just carbon, co carbon copy clones. The fact they've given them personalities is nice. But at the same time, unnerving, because it means like, oh, we actually killed Jeff, and he's got like a wife and two kids, and now I kind of feel really bad. I just bad. thought they were all clones, to be honest. Yeah. They didn't really give a fuck. They, they, they all had penis heads, and they talked like jibbery jabber from The Sims. Hmm. All right, Warren, you have the biggest gun, and therefore are the bravest. Gunter Kleben, Klappen, Kloben. That's as brave as you're going to be. I'm not even sure where we're meant to go. Reach the designated area. Oh, right, I see. Fair enough. Goth pigeons! Goth pigeons! No, no. Say it with me, Spike. What's that? What's that there? What is it? What is it? Edgar Allan Crow. <laughs> oh, fucking hell, it's close enough. I go. Right. No oh, shit, no. No, what have you done, Mox? They are taking an insurmountable amount of turns for free. Ding! 
number one badass. <laughs> Mainly because shoot first. Think about the ramifications later. <laughs> Freeze frame. Kill count meter. <laughs> <laughs> That is not the worst of it. Multiple biological signatures rapidly on approach to your position. The law. Oh. Ra ra rapid rapidly. Well, rapidly. They are drawn to it. We have to survive for four turns before an evac point. Deal with the lost. They're not going to stop coming, are they? We, we, they they'll, they'll thin out eventually. Sorry? They'll thin out eventually. It would seem the mutation has somehow he says with a cracking voice. Metabolism, allowing enhanced speed so there are different kinds of I think there's three. Four, yeah, right? Vanilla, Dasher, Brute. I think you can figure out what the Brute does. Takes more hits, moves slower. Oh, thank God he hit something. Target down. Okay, right. Now, hopefully kill the next one. There we go. Got no more targets, that's a reload. He's got another shot. If he reloads now, he's gonna have to overwatch with his pistol. I'd rather overwatch with a sniper rifle. Oh, cool, Marx has got his moves back. Even though he pretty much just brought this fucking mountain of shit on us. I mean, it was cool, you took out an army, but you also brought an army down on us. Oh, God. That's a lot of dickheads. And it's 50 50 chance. Wait, is that pulled towards me? Yeah, let, let's uh, you know, do the whole scorpion bit. Come here! Come here! And then a wimpy pitch lap. Fatality. I like the turn wrist blade, but... Alright, he didn't get a headshot for it, sadly. Alright, okay, Warren. If you can't hit anything, I want you to move. And basically overwatch. We can't kill them all, but hopefully none of them are going to get too close straight away. Come on, don't miss at that range, man. You've even got strobe lighting. You, you killed one of that. Not that one, you killed that one. You you fool. Target neutralized. This is gonna get ugly. Why is no one shooting that one? Headshot. Yeah. The headshot was so bad that the damage meter went across the board. Shockwave of that explosion reverberated throughout most of the city. I would expect a significant reaction. Well, he gets two shots anyway. The only reaction I will accept from them is their deaths. Find us that exit. Bruh. Yeah, the bullpup's not all that great at range, it seems. So, Mox is a bit shit then. It's got melee moves, it's got grappling hooks. Like I said, most so of these heroes... So a combat tank, but other than that... Yeah, it needs to build up a bit more. Most characters will. They also level up a bit differently to how XCOM do. They get EXP points you can put into skills at your choice. At my leisure. Yeah. Alright, Warren, since you did so deliciously well, you get to reload and overwatch while everyone else poos their pants a little. Uh, Doc, you need to reload anyway, so you move to the rest of the cool gang. Cool and the gang. Yeah, the cool and the gang. The soon to be corpsey and the gang are also coming. From both sides. Habuski! Habuski? You had to miss eventually. To be fair, Warren's accuracy ratios has always been. Well, scary. it's obviously going to be hard to hit. He's going to have to try and aim through Chris's entire body. The camera's fucked. Massive elbow! Look at yeah, them biceps! <laughs> Gonna need a little more time. All right. Holding position. All right, Marks, you, you've already done enough damage for one day, so reload. The fact that thing's got an ammo count of four is kind of upsetting. Three. Uh, yeah. All right, uh, get to higher ground, make you more accurate. Can these things climb? Yes, but I don't think they can. They have to go up ladders. I think I'm not 100 percent sure. Either way, he's got a decent chance to hit this one and hopefully not fuck up. Alright. Uh, Chris, 60. What's your pistol? Sist your pistol's got much more chance of killing it. Go for it. And that's why they call him Revolver Dr. Lot. Revolver Dr. I should slap <laughs> For fuck's sake. It's a Metal Gear bad reference. Steve. It's a very bad Steve. Yeah, I know. We only got to hold out for another two turns, and then our evac route opens. Only up. another two turns. 
Hopefully we'll be fine. Yeah, Overwatch really isn't as good as it used to be. Fortunately, Warren's minigun is like a thousand times better than the miniguns we had in the previous campaign. I like the updates on the side of the screen, that's very clever. Yeah. Wait, hang on, just scroll left a little for me. Left. Looking, looking at that uh, poster on the can, underneath mocks. Oh! It's an XCOM poster. I think it's just a generic one, because I don't remember anyone like that in our ranks. Because eventually, Male your, Abbey. Yeah, your posters can um, appear on shit everywhere. I do not recall that soldier at all. Right, Mox. Just keep your ammo mag high, because you're a fucking liability at this point. You need to be point blank, or you're just not all that good at the minute. Alright, Warren, you keep, doing those that, golf pigeons. keep doing that Overwatch thing you do where you actually hit stuff. And Chris, pray. Hunger. Oh my god! I didn't realise all of Mansfield was here to greet us today. That's, uh, that's a few fucking zombies. Well, there's our evac point. How about we fall back and now we use grenades? Saving him for the next part. Trust me. Uh, Chris does get... Have you got any kill shots on two dashes? Right, yeah, that one can be removed with no problem. Eeny, meeny, miny, die. Uh... Any anyone else? That's a two. That's a two. This is why Chris was on this part of the mission, <laughs> um, because his pistol is actually really OP on low health. Uh, you know, low health. Right. I don't know if we can roll much more odds, but we have thinned them out. Is there any other two HP? Ah, go on. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you! <coughs> Fuck you! Uh, I think they're only higher HP guys now. Yeah, there's no two HP guys left. Fuck you! Uh, I can try, but... Keep, keep going! Just keep going! The revolver's got a low chance of doing three damage on these guys, though. That's the only problem. I'll try it. Ace! Alright, Chris. It, you know, if ain't broke... It's literally going to like, level up yeah. every time we come across the fallen. I, I didn't realise that the Doctor really knows his way around a revolver. But he does, apparently. Like, he really... He, he really... <laughs> really knows how to chop... He knows how to chop that wood. <sighs> right, he, he can't kill that one with a revolver, so we'll let Warren have him after a reload. Oh, yeah. Warren is excited. He best fucking be. Although, we, we currently know who the man of the match is. Oh, God, yes. Now that's gonna leave a scar. Right, okay. Take a reload. Y you've got no action spent, apparently, Chris, so... By all means, hang on to the sniper rifle that never hits anything. Yeah, bring him down. Yeah, Mox, get down there, you look silly up there. I look silly anywhere. He has a penis for a face. <laughs> that's a Why is it that this voice actor has characters that have penises for faces, Steve? Or, or very ridged foreheads. I had noticed that, actually. Right. We probably should be sending Chris in first, because apparently he, you know, can take on a crowd, no problem. But he can, he can hang at the back. We always take snipers on missions with the lost, okay? That's a new rule. Alright, uh, after that display, I don't really give a fuck, I'll believe that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's a way out of the end. We'll, we'll keep, keep okay. the walls. Any more? I must admit, this uh, this is definitely a new new type of enemy, new type of level. I'm very impressed because with all new mechanics. With all new mechanics, because this is creepy as fuck. Right, sprint for your goddamn lives. A competent approach. He called me competent. Unlike his shooting. Be waiting for you ahead. I know this wasn't the easiest stop, but I have to believe it'll still be worth it in the end. 
That depends on the Reapers. They're gonna be besties. I can see it now. No petty hatreds. No. No petty hatreds. In fact, the girl's gonna get over her prejudice and sleep with penis face. Um. Okay. Oh, that's always how it happens. You know, it's like girl meets clone. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Let's try and play nice today, people. Let's be stealthy and hide in the city by leaving flares everywhere. Advent's most brutal captain comes to atone for his crimes. I am no longer that being. I am free now. Taking off that helmet does not change what you are. Reapers have long memories. Elder Kraxad. I'm guessing she called him Dickhead McGee in Advent. Join forces and kick the elders off our world or kill each other here and now. The choice is yours. That does sort of like Rise of Iron outfits. <gasps> oh no! Oh no, an Eldar from Skyrim has got sci-fi armor and is here to fuck us up. My elf in the Eldar. My people face another like her. They are the undying Advent's curse upon us. You okay, Spot? Yeah, no, I'm just okay, okay. I'm enjoying this, mate. If we are to have any chance of success, you are welcome to try. So what, these guys are cloaked? No, it depends on the the one you're fighting, really. The assassin is a stealthy one. They appeared without warning years ago. Had they not, we would have already regained our home. <laughs> the assassin. The elders' will extends throughout the universe. I am but one of their instruments. So yeah, basically, we now have the predator on our ass. Okay. Uh, so I, I recommend a uh, a brief bunching up. It's the golf pigeons. It's 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 clearly it's it's them. They're, they're they did it to us. <laughs> they are guiding the fucking chosen upon us. Okay, right. We're gonna do the unthinkable now and bunch up into a very explosive corner and get everyone. Into full on tea party mode. I am on you know, they're all. And should anything move, everyone fires at it at once, yeah? Well, except for Mox, who's apparently a lazy bastard, yeah. Anything? There's something over there. And here we go. Join me, So okay. her name is Fal Lul Fal Il Valinor. And her nemesis system style things is she can enter Overwatch upon ending her turn. She does not trigger Overwatch fire, but she takes more damage from explosions and Reapers do double damage. Right, so this is a nemesis system now with these things. Yeah, with the Chosen, yes. So all the Overwatch we've just taken is mean shit. She's immune to Overwatch, so remind me when we fight her in future, she's Overwatch proof. And yeah? I will end this quickly. Oh. And she she done fucked off. Oh, we've still got the loss to contend with somewhere. I draw closer. You know, I, I, I'm not feeling this man. I need a quick coffee, okay? Can we just take five? Can we take five? Take five! Take we'll be right five! Back after these messages. Bye! <laughs>